I thought my legs were fat. I was 11 years old, and I thought my legs were fat. I remember that in the, it was fifth grade, we got weighed in the fall and in the spring at school, and that fall, I weighed 90 pounds. And I remember during that year, once in a while, looking in the mirror and thinking, yeah, my legs are a little, they're a little chunky, but I was okay with it. And then I remember in the spring, and we got weighed again, and I weighed 85 pounds, and I was like, I didn't even try to lose weight. That was easy. And I remember saying to myself, huh, if I could get down to 80 pounds, I think, I think my life would be pretty good. So that was my mission for that summer. And I'm like, I'll just won't eat snacks, and I'll quit eating junk food. So it was a kid thing. Um, it was a phase. And I remember starting sixth grade, and we got weighed again. And, well, let's, let me go back a little bit. Um, I remember about midway through that summer, I started standing on top of the, the, the ledge in the, on the bathtub so I could see my legs in the mirror. And I remember standing like this so that they didn't touch. And I'm like, I would just wish they looked like that all the time. And I remember I got a book in the mail. It was called Girl Talk. And there was a chapter on nutrition in there. And it showed three different body type images. There was a, a small frame, a medium frame, and then a bigger frame. And over each frame, it said how many calories they should have per day. And I wanted to be the little frame. So I said 1,200 was how many I needed to have. That's when I started counting calories. So when I started sixth grade, we got weighed again. And I weighed 72 pounds. That made me the thinnest girl in the class. That was, that was kind of cool for me. Um, I was like, all right, my diet was successful. But I didn't quit then. I remember packing my lunch after my mom went to work and my dad went outside. I put a piece of ham, 30 calories, and a small apple. I figured around 70, so I was sitting at about 100. I remember thinking at the lunch table that the kids with the chocolate milk, they had more calories in their milk than I did in my whole lunch. I remember when the piece of ham and the apple was too much. I remember my mom telling me that had having to see my lunch before I packed it. I remember it had to be a sandwich, a granola bar, and at that time, those were one of those little clementines. I remember throwing the sandwich away on the bus, and I remember putting the granola bar in my backpack and later putting it on a shelf in my closet in a bag way in the back. I ate the clementine. I remember when the clementine started to be too much, too. I would peel it, and then I'd go throw the peel away, and I'd throw it away, too. I remember stopping going to school because I, was, I said I was sick, so I didn't have to face teachers and them asking me what was in my lunchbox. I can't forget it. I wish I could forget it, but it doesn't go away, and I don't know how to make it go away. How do I make it go away? It doesn't go away, but how you adapt to it changes. How you react to it. That's not good enough. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, this is where I'm at. Am I perfect? Mm, hell no. Um, I've got a long ways to go as far as my mind getting, I don't know if, I, I, he says I can, be, I can be normal. I haven't been normal for 23 years. I've spent over. Amy, you're at a paleo conference. <laughs> True that. True that. <laughs> Your standards for normal are <laughs> maybe dubious. <laughs> True. I don't know what the benchmark is going to be on that. So. <laughs> Way down there. Um, yeah, um, I spent two thirds of my life caught in this trap, and I'm like, I don't remember what life is without it. I don't know who I am without anorexia. I don't know. I've always always Amy with the food problem. You know, like who am I? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm ready to find out. I'm ready to find out. <laughs> <laughs>